always wins. What is up guys, Gamer the Video Game Scientist from VG Bootcamp here and I've got a new video. In Brawl, you had the ability to stack buffered inputs. It was really cool, but in Smash 4 they took away buffer stacking. This made it more difficult to do instant turnarounds because you'd often accidentally do a buffer dash or try to do an instant turnaround move but you block the buffer for the turnaround with the move and you just do the move in the wrong direction. To get around this, you have to do things like turn off tab jump and do diagonal up back when landing to ensure you don't accidentally buffer a dash. And on top of that, you gotta time the move perfectly as soon as the pivot starts. So again, you don't accidentally cancel the pivot buffer with the move and do it in the wrong direction. In Ultimate, it's the same, but there was a mechanic added that I like to call the landing pivot. Reflex already did a video about this that briefly covered it. Make sure and go watch his video first and subscribe. So let's talk about the landing pivot. It's simple and has limited uses, but the uses it has are very strong in many neutral interactions, so I wanted to get the word out there for the players that don't know about this yet. Simply put, if you're airborne facing one direction and you're holding the control stick in the opposite direction one frame before landing, the game will combine your landing animation slash auto cancel animation with your turnaround pivot animation. The cool thing about this is that you can buffer anything during that landing pivot animation and it will come out on the very first frame possible. To be clear, when you land with things like aerials and do other moves, you still have to do that frame perfect one pivot, but if you do an empty land or an auto cancel, you don't have to do that anymore. On top of that, if you hold down back, you will fast fall, but also get a landing pivot, which is really cool. It might not seem like it, but there's some pretty good uses for this that you can immediately put into your game. First of all, if you have a character with a really good scary back air that makes your opponent shoot a lot, if you do the fast fall landing pivot and buffer a grab while landing, it'll come out immediately and be a very, very fast tomahawk. It's incredibly hard to react to. You can use it in ledge traps to cover ledge jump with a move that auto cancels and then immediately do a turnaround into whatever else you want. You can do an empty hop in neutral and bait moves on your shield and your opponent won't even recognize for the most part that you've done a turnaround when you shield it. A good example of this is something like Palutena's back air spam. Sometimes players will try to catch your landing lag of the back air with something like a dash attack because they know that your back will be facing them and it'll be harder for Palutena specifically to punish that hard. If you do the landing pivot in your shield, they'll just dash attack the front of your shield without even realizing it, and you can get a free grab. You can use this for really safe auto cancel moves like Wolf's back air. It's minus five on shield, so if you do a back air, one frame of pivot turnaround into grab, and they buffer a six frame grab, their grab will beat you out. But if you use the landing pivot, which is easier into grab, the grabs will clank, and slower grabs, Wolf will straight up just beat. On top of that, Wolf can also do a jab out of the landing pivot back air to interrupt a lot of outer shield options. Obviously, if they just hold shield though, that won't work. You can also use this to stop forced turnarounds out of certain aerials that auto cancel. A great example of this is puffed back air. If you don't want to turn around after landing from a back air, you can just do the landing pivot normally or out of a fastball and keep your back facing them. And lastly, if a move puts you into normal landing lag, that's your soft landing lag or hard landing lag, but follows up with a combo, Wario's neutral air is a good example of this, you can use the landing pivot to try to shift your hurt box away from him so he can't combo from Nair 1 into Nair 2. It's not perfect, it doesn't work on everybody, but it's definitely something you should at least be trying to do to avoid this combo. That's actually what the main point of Reflex's original video was about, so definitely go watch it and subscribe to him. He makes good videos. That's the video. If you liked it, consider giving it a like. If you really liked it, consider subscribing, and if you really, really liked it, consider turning on those notifications. I'm really busy. I got stuff to do, so it's back to the lab with me. I'll see you guys next time.
to the lab again. Not again. Back to the lab.